Hi everyone, it's Mariana from Road Trip Nation. It's going to be almost three years since Camilla, Sue and I flew from Australia and hopped on a green RV and drove across the country to interview some incredible leaders. Recently we got to catch up with some of the leaders from our road trip, so check out this clip of our conversations with John Foreman and Chad Butler of the band Switchfoot. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am. Well, because it's been three years. Yeah. So. I was just thinking that, I was like looking at you and like, ah, do we look older? I would hope that we've looked like we've matured <laughs> in some way. The road trip that we did on that green RV in 08, it really had a huge impact on all of us. I remember leaving that conversation really inspired myself. And I remember thinking like, um, I wish I would have talked less and listened more. Hmm. You know, kind of, for us, it's always been like just one step at a time, you know, and, and almost like things landing in our lap that we didn't really know what they were at the time. We didn't know how to approach it. It just kind of, it lands there. Whereas your journey was very, almost intentional, where you, you, uh, you had to take very uh, large steps to get to the next place, you know, and, and um, that's very challenging and inspiring. I love to hear it. You guys have been like doing this for like such a long time. How do you keep inspired? Like, I know I battle with myself constantly. Have you reached those points and how do you overcome them? Especially now like you're recording another album. And yeah, we're making our eighth record. Contentment might not ever be something that we fully find in this life, you know. And so for us, the goal continually remains to find a new, new way to approach it, to find that dangerous space where you don't know if it's going to work or not, you know? Because I feel like that's where the, the, the best things start to happen. Yeah. And you can hit writer's block or you can hit just a creative block and getting through that requires sometimes, you know, either tying your hands behind your back or blindfold yourself, you know, do, approach it from a different way. Mm. to try to um, have, have that experience be fun for you and then hopefully that'll translate into fun for everybody else too. I think that's probably where I'm at now because I've been away from home for, it's going to be almost, well, three years sort of and I've gone back home maybe once for like two weeks and then had to come back. And so like how do you, how do you know that like a decision you've made or a path that you've taken is the right choice and that the sacrifices that you're making is worth it. I mean those are those are absolutely the right questions to be asking and only you can answer them which is even scarier you know <laughs> yeah. but I mean your friends know you your 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 folks know you you know your work acquaintances all these different people know you but only you can answer the question mm. you know I don't know what do you think about it Chad? Well, it's true that that personal motivation is key, you know, we work very hard to take a song idea, record it, put a tour together, go out and play it every night to see that interaction happen, to deliver the song personally, you know, that's sort of the end result. And then to hear someone after the show's all over and the, and the doors are closed, to hear somebody come out and catch us on the street as we're walking away and say, hey, that meant something to me. I got something out of it. Well, that, that chain of events, you know, is motivated by that connection, personal connection, that communication. And that motivates this whole other string of events to get there and all the, you know, the, the work that goes into it and the sacrifices that are made. And without that motivation, if you're, you know, doing it for a paycheck or for some other motivation, it's not going to keep you working and uh, motivate you to put in that, that effort, you know. And I think finding the, that personal motivation from a deep place and, and knowing why you do what you do ultimately is really important. And it's different for everyone. Well, it's been great catching up with you guys. Yeah, great to Thanks see you again. guys. It's been great to, to see you guys for sure.